and I would have that that sound, and then I would play with it later, and and change the speed or raise it or lower it, and and but I wanted to acknowledge that I got it from somewhere that I used it. I the 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 film. Uh, uh, such as it is with the sub subway uh, material, uh, there is uh, uh, an artist, uh, uh, composer of avant-garde music, and uh, I asked him if I could uh, use some of his material, and he sent me a CD, and um, I just lifted pieces from it. I uh, then. Actually, I, I sent him a copy of this and haven't heard from him since, <laughs> so I don't know where that's going. But um, most of the time, either I, I will try to create it myself, or uh, I, there's another there's a, a composer, Arvo Part, uh, and I've used little bits of, of uh, his uh, compositions. Um, so it's not that I have a, uh, usually don't have a direct relationship with anybody. I just steal it. Sandy? Um, I, in The Awakening, I thought it was really beautifully put together with the sound and the, and the image and the motion and stillness and the whole way that you work with those. I thought it was really interesting. Thank you. Um, but I did have one question at the end that, that you made the choice not to see from the tower view from the tower. Yes. I just wanted to hear what you would say. I, I, it's, it's the desire to get, to draw people in. It's just like the dark, the blackness with little bits of light or something and draw people in. And I want to, I, I, if possible, uh, leave it ambiguous. Uh, um, that well, I mean, at the, the last film, we go to the moon, and but it, it's 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 not exactly a moon because you got this other sound that's going on. Is it a little bit strange or eerie? What is he trying to say? And so, what I'm trying to do is provoke people to have their own thoughts. If I give them too much information, then they're thinking less on their own about what I'm trying to say. Uh, the the. Now another way to say, uh, of of answering your your question about why, the uh, about why I didn't make it any clearer there, is uh, is my own uh, philosophy about life and uh, uh, that the eyes uh, see some things, but it's the soul that understands. And so, uh, in, in that case, that, that uh, uh, the real, the, the reality of, of being there uh, comes about from feeling and experiencing it, not from seeing it. That by having, if I showed you what was there, uh, I, th I feel that it would be a lesser um, experience. Was it the real hard cut between the outside and the interior, that real slam cut? Was that very intentional, too? Inside that tower. You know, uh, you go from the outside with the trees, and then it... We're, uh, well, that was that there it was the, the timing. I mean, it was, we, we, it was on the tower on the outside for quite a while, and I thought, now we, gotta, we have to change the pace a little bit, so then we go inside. Plus, I mean, it is, uh, the awakening has to do with a person, uh, spiritual awakening. And so we're going up, and uh, the next step after seeing the outside of the tower would be to get be in there and start to, in, from the interior, move up. Uh, I, uh, you know, as I try to describe what I do, I know that uh, there are other people that can say much more or much better what I say, and I don't even know all the time what I might, you know, what the reason. I can only tell you as much as a, the, the timing of the, the sequence that this, it was right to go in there. Uh, Did you shoot me out from the top of the tower yeah. and put it in the film and then take it out? 
I mean, how, I'm just curious about that decision. Maybe it's not a personal question I'm asking you because of things I've done. But it, it's very interesting to me that the idea of you knowing, you're setting, well, when you do the shots going down the road with the footsteps, and then you do a still shot. It's like... That's a freeze frame. A freeze frame. Uh, that's what I mean. Um, okay. But, <laughs> I mean, I could see it was a freeze frame. But the, 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 it's a still, but it's the stillness, <coughs> the photograph, the... Um, the um, sort of finding a place or finding an image there, and then in the and you find an image that's very beautifully composed. It's just like as if you're walking down the road until you find the right spot, you know, the right spot where the right picture is, and then you climb the tower, which is what is that tower anyway? It's amazing <laughs> that you come about climb it and you climb the tower, and you're looking for these spots throughout the film, and suddenly at the end. You don't find the spot. You don't show us the spot. And so I'm just, I guess what, what's interesting to me as a filmmaker, because I've been in similar situations myself, is where you shoot something and you have the end or you have the, the shot that you, you know, a certain shot that is a logical progression from what you've done, and you choose to not put it in the film or to put it in the film at some point in the editing. And I think you're, when you're talking about ambiguity, and all of the things that you've been saying, you know, I think that's exactly what you're thinking about at that time. But that process is very interesting in the editing that you come to that. Well, uh, I mean, I guess to, to really get at it would be to take a specific situation <coughs> that you're talking about. With, the, the, with most of the, my films now, the way I work, I don't know where it's going to go. It really is, when I start, it's one foot goes forward and then I go to the next one. So uh, when I started shooting and there was a tower there, I didn't know how I would use it or if I would stop there. Granted, with my computer equipment, I can uh, freeze any particular frame along the way. Uh, so where you saw the still shot, which is the end of a whole sequence, there could have been much more of the sequence that I didn't leave. Um, with the tower and climbing up the tower, uh, some of it is in black and white. Uh, it, it starts off in black and white and goes to color. Not that there's much difference there. Um, that uh, footage was in focus, and I made it out of focus. Uh, now, when I shot it, I had no idea about any of that. You know, it's it, and I really would like to feel uh, free from concern of planning things ahead. You know, so that everything is a new experience and let that new experience take me on to the next thing. I mean, it certainly isn't the way of planning ahead of time and shooting every, you know, and, but that's the way uh, I have worked. But being brought up in a Western world where we do plan to a great extent, it's not, it, it's easy to fall back to want to prepare, to worry. You know, I mean, this is, is this going to have an end? Uh, what, uh, how, how do I structure this? Uh, you know, and to, I, I try to withdraw from that as much as possible so that I'm, I'm not uh, uh, concerned about those things, you know, about organizing. Where was the tower then? What tower is it? The tower, the tarot cards. I had that tower built. <laughs> well done. <laughs> I, I lived in Montpelier, Vermont. And Bar Montpelier, Vermont has a park. And uh, the park has a hill. And on top of the hill is that particular tower. And that's all there is to that. So it's it's not a it's it, it, actually though it's the capital very few people know about the park and therefore very few people go up uh, 
to that tower. But that's where it is.